Hi everyone. In this video, I want to demonstrate how you can interact with Salesforce using an MCP connection. So I'm using Cloud Desktop as my MCP client where I can give some commands using natural language in the chat box and it does certain tasks in the background. So for this demonstration, I have created a Salesforce uh, MCP server. So let me switch back to my VS code. So I don't want to go through the entire code of the Salesforce MCP server. So basically this specific server connects to Salesforce. Along with that, uh, it has uh, three tools in it. So which uh, are used to perform the CRUD operations onto Salesforce object. So with the help of these tools, you can create uh, any uh, record for a specific object. You can update a specific record or you can query a specific record onto Salesforce. So this is currently running locally in my system. So let's check how it works. So let's switch back to Cloud Desktop in order to see this in action. So in Cloud Desktop, so you have to configure the tools. So in order to configure the tools, so you have to go to the settings for MCP settings, go to developer. So as you can see, I have already created an Salesforce MCP connector. So where I need to provide certain uh, inputs. So this is not available by default. So you have to update your configuration. So once I click on edit config, so it navigates me to the Cloud desktop configuration. So let me quickly open it and show what it compares of. So this is a simple uh, JSON uh, where we specify what kind of server it is and how you can run this specific server when you are trying to run it locally. So let's switch to Cloud desktop to see this Salesforce MCP integration in action. So before we uh, go through the actual demo on how it is interacting with Salesforce. So I just want to show you like what we are trying to achieve uh, in this specific use case. So I have given six tasks uh, to this specific uh, client, MCP client, which is Cloud Desktop. So it needs to query all the accounts created in last 30 days showing name, industry and annual revenues. So it needs to get all the required field for certain objects, which is lead objects. Uh, it needs to get the uh, required fields for account objects and it needs to create a lead. It needs to create an account. Uh, it needs to create an opportunity. So along with that, you need to tag with the right details uh, as mentioned here. So let's give this specific task to my MCP client and see how it fares. As you can see, it has completed all my tasks which I have given to my client. So all these six tasks are done under a minute. So that's the power of uh, MCP integration. So it not only interacts with Salesforce as I have shown example here. So I can attach multiple uh, MCP servers, let's say connecting to a database, uh, let's say connecting to HubSpot, or any other uh, systems so i can create an mcp server and add those servers onto my cloud desktop where all these uh, servers interact with each other and they would fulfill my task so in each of the servers you see certain uh, queries that's being happen internally i haven't written a single line of logic in order to query uh, the specific tasks. So everything is handled by my uh, MCP client using LLMs uh, under the hood. So I hope you got some uh, gist on what uh, MCP server is and how powerful it is in the actual implementation. Thanks for watching this.